You know what? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this one thing that always gets these people, these people, all these people. I don't even know what I was trying to do there. All these people on something that isn't their work when they're working. Now, at the beginning of this year, I had a bit of an issue with uh, this productivity app, two productivity apps, actually. You might know them as different apps. They might be Slack for you. They might be Gmail for you. They might even just be uh, Outlook, which if it's Outlook and Microsoft Teams, I'm sorry, that sucks. That, that really is not a fun time. But there's something that happened to me where I got ping anxiety. I went, oh God, oh, I gotta open my pings. You know, that sort of thing where you're just afraid all the time of what people are gonna say. So I would either avoid my pings or I would overcheck my ping to try to keep them clear. And then I implemented something that changed my life forever. These almost fell out. That would have been bad. I started implementing this productivity hack that will save you five hours a week and a heap load of stress. It's a three-pronged approach to managing your messages better. Number one, plan your day. So as you can see, I have this uh, calendar framework thingamajigger. Like it's it's cool, right? Like I just... Then I have my real calendar, which showcases like all the work I did. Uh, I actually keep up with my Google calendar. I've been doing this for the last couple of months. It's been great. And you'll notice here on a lot of these days and in the framework, I have the same thing. I have a time in the morning, a time in the middle of the day, and a time at the end of the day for responding to emails and Slack. Now, why do I have these three times a day and that's it? A few reasons. Number one, I genuinely like opening my Slack, getting through everything, talking to people that I need to, and then being done. I like the same thing for email and I like having a clear inbox. It's a great feeling. You should try it. And I also very much enjoy not constantly context switching because context switching is one of the number one reasons you're probably not productive. There are a few basic basic rules of how your brain works. One, if you're focusing on something and you change to doing something else, it takes up to 15 minutes a lot of the time in order for you to get back to focusing in the same level of capacity as you were prior if you were in actual focused work. Do you know on average, it's been found that people check their email. There was a, there was a study that a company did by like tracking devices on their computer. People were checking their email in Slack literally every two to five minutes. Yeah. So by that logic, no one got focused work done ever at the company, which obviously there are some outliers like you studs who were managing to stay focused by implementing things like this because of me. You know, if you like this advice, as always, hit that subscribe button, obviously. Stay up to date with all the different ways that you can stay productive and watch me throw stuff I try to catch. But seriously, if you simply only spend three times a day checking your email, you will actually be able to get focus work done. You'll be able to log in, do your work, check email and Slack at certain times, and then you're done. Now, the key thing about the email and Slack thing as well, is you need to plan your day prior. So obviously I have this little bit of a calendar framework that I work off before I time block and I just like reference it on another screen. But what I do is the night before and oftentimes two to three days before, I'll plan out my time blocks for multiple days. Will I check my Slack to end the day? Uh-huh. Will I check my email and Slack after I finish my, you know, workout and checking my calendar to make sure it's like ready for the day and my tasks are the right things I'm doing for the day. Usually I'll actually plan a day ahead, like I said. So when I'm like planning for the day, I'm planning for the next day. Then I check my Slack and what I don't do is I don't just keep worrying about what the people are gonna say. I'm gonna take what they have to say into context and then continue my day accordingly. Maybe getting to what they're nagging me about in an hour or two, maybe three, four hours. Like if you don't have something urgent people are asking of you, respond to them and let you know when you'll have it done by and stop with the nonsense of gratifying yourself by pinging. Cause this is actually what people are doing and they don't realize it. When you constantly are just responding to emails and Slack, you feel like you're getting work done because they have notifications. They have that in the little banners in the corner. They have it from the ping noise. Noise. You know, you get it with your text messages, you get it with your slacks, that noise scarred me forever. To get rid of my ping anxiety once and for all, I started with turning off notifications after like 6 p.m. And then I did something even more important, which is starting at the beginning of the year, I deleted Slack from my phone. I run a company that's based off client services and I don't need to go into my email or Slack a few times a day. What about you? Think your boss is gonna lose it if in your knowledge worker job, you have to get focused work done? It's all about setting expectations. And if you do this three times a day thing, I recommend with whoever you work with to set those expectations to say, I'm doing this so I can get better work done and I'm not distracted by random pings, not yours, you know, obviously not theirs, uh, other people. So that being said, try this. It's gonna improve your workflows substantially. Please just do it. Just just stop looking at your phone or your computer every five seconds. It's, it's important. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video and check out this video on how to improve your skills using productivity tools even more.